शुक्लां ब्रह्म विचार सार परमा माध्यान जगत व्यापनी मीना पुस्तक धारिणी मुखयताम चाट्यांधकारा पहां अस्तेस पाटिक मालिकां विदतीम पद्मासने संस्यताम अंदेताम परमेश्वरीम भगवतीम तिप्रदाम शारदाम सत्वा सरस्वदीन देवीम शुक्ताम गुन्याम करोम Cindy at Sandy, we are looking at Sarvatra Vivasha Goho and in the context of Sarvatra Vivasha Goho there are uh, this it's an <coughs> Eng of Padanta Dati we had seen and then we saw Sarvatra Vivasha Goho. So here the forms that we saw go agram and we saw other form as gogram. We get go agram by what? By so one form is go agram, other form is form is gogram by vibhasha because it is a vibhasha. There is an optionality. Now there is a third option to this, and for that another sutra is introduced here. Avang spota anasya, and before he goes to avang spota anasya, spota anasya. He gives the other sutras to explain what is uh, what is the way in which you interpret the adesha. I've, I've talked about this sutra in the audio which uh, we recorded in uh, Bangalore. So Bangalore students may know this. Uh, let's look at these through Ashtadhyayi. First chapter one one. Yeah. So good way to look at these is through the Sutra Pada. So we know which is an Apwada to what. Here, these four sutras, see. Uh, Alontyasya. Alontyasya. If you have a book also you can see Alontyasya. Nitya. Then uh, Anekal Sitsarosya. Adehe Parasya Anekal Sitsarosya. These are the sutras which tell you that what is the Adesha applied to. Which part of the Sthani. Sthani is known by Shashti, Shashti Sthane Yoga. So Sthane, the word Sthane can be added to that Pada which is there in the Sutra in Shashti. Thereby that becomes a Sthani. Sthani means that which will take a substitute. This we already know. Alon Chasya also we have seen which says what? So Shashti Sthane Yoga and Alon Kyasya says the Ankyasya Alaha Adesha Bhavati. So in this Thani, this Thani is, the, is it the entire word? No. General rule says that Ankyasya Alaha. Antasya Alaha Adesha Bhavati. The Adesha Vidhi applies to the last Al of the Thani. Thani as in the Thani word. That is the real Thani which will take the substitute. Then, Antyasya Alaha and then if uh, uh, Panchami, so Parasya Adhe, if this Thani is later following, not the previous, it is the later, then it will, this Thani is the first of the following, first letter of the following. So what? Antya Alaha. Alaha goes till 55, till here, till this Sutra. So what does Adehe Parasya say? We'll come to Nietzsche again, come back. But Adehe Parasya tells us that it is the uh, Parasya Adehe Adesha Bhoti. And to Parasya Adehe Kasya Alaha. Parasya Adehe Alaha Adesha Bhoti. So if this Tani is the following one, which is indicated by Panchami. So Ad Gunaha. So Ad Guna means Aat. Aat is the Panchami, which is telling you 
the sthani is that which follows so is the entire word which follows a sthani no that which immediately follows is a sthani but not the entire word the first adehe parasya adi is the sthani parasya adi is the sthani so para para adi is the sthani so both is and saptami when saptami uh, uh, word is used in the sutra then that tells us that the sutra has to be interpreted that what precedes the saptami which is called as bhava sapti or para saptami that which precedes is the sthani and not the entire word antya alaha so antya al antya al is the sthani when saptami is used and when panchami is used the adi al is the sthani of the para so these two identify which uh, general rule it gives a general rule as to which is the real sthani even though we have identified the word now there is one uh, what, what if you do not want to apply these vidhi to the last or the first letter meaning the sthani needs to be the entire word then what do we do so th for that <coughs> sorry mahamuni uh, the uh, panini muni says the sutra is anekal sit sarvasya the if the adesha is anekal anekal means anekaha anekaha al alaha anekaha alaha yasmin yasmin adeshe sah adesha anekal adesha that adesha will be anekal adesha and here there is a dwandva anekal and shit so anekal cha shit cha anekal shit it's a it's a dwandva it's a um, it's a dwandva which gives you two conditions either the adesha is anekal anekal means having many letters all is a letter that which has many letters that kind of an adesha should apply to the entire sthani sarvasya sarvasya is all the entire set of letters which you identify as either puru or para or which is identified by shashti in the sutra to that will the adesha apply to the entire word only if it is anekal or if it is shit if it is shit and anekal see if you if it is a shit as in shakara iti asmin यस्मिन आदेशे शकार सह आदेश शित आदेश उच्यते नाउ दैट शकार इथ इफ देर इज अ सिंगल लेटर ऑल्सो एंड इट टेक्स अनदर शकार एज एन इथ देन इट विल बिकम अनेकाल देर फोर इट विल बी मीनिंगलेस टू से अनेकाल एंड शित सो वॉट इट इज मेन्ट हियर इन दिस सूत्र इज वेन अंबर वेन नंबर ऑफ लेटर्स हैव टू आइडेंटिफाइड इन द आदेश इट शुड बी डन without counting the it letters so shakara it will drop out and after that what remains it will be a single letter so if a single letter has to be an adesha for the entire sthani then he says that he will make it a shit adesha he will make that adesha shit because anekal anyway it will apply to the entire sthani so general rule is what general rule is that it will apply to single letter whether puru or para single letter is a sthani but if it is an anekal vidhi vidhi has many letters then it will apply to the entire sthani and if it is a shit adesha even if it is a single letter it will apply to the entire sthani now the only option which is left is what what if you have a single uh, if it is if it is a uh, if it is an anekal so if it is anekal so combinations we know of is what alaha alaha antyasya alaha or parasya alaha adehe adehe parasya alaha or antyasya alaha adesha bhavati that is the general rule meaning what the sthani is a single letter when when the adesha is a single letter when adesha is a single letter it will apply to the uh single letter or uh, whatever the adesha where will it apply it will apply to the single letter then we saw that if the adesha is multi letter then it will apply to sarvasya the entire set of uh, 
letters of the Sani, meaning the entire world. So by saying Anekal Shitsarvasya, now, <coughs> sorry, Alontyasya and Adesh Parasya are restricted to a single letter Adesha. Because Anekal, if it is, then it will apply to Sarvasya. So by saying Anekal, he has restricted the Alontyasya and Adesh Parasya to apply to the only the vidhi is single letter. Then further he said, if the vidhi is single letter and it is shit, then also it will apply to the entire sthana. So now you have, uh, what kind of conditions are covered by this? Conditions covered by this are, if it's a single uh, ekal, I'll say ekal adesha, ekal adesha, where will it apply? It will be applying to the a single. It will apply to ekal stani. Not ekal stani. I'll say uh, stani. So stani, uh, which is the stani? Al. It will apply to al. I'll say it will apply to al. So adesha alaha bhoti. Ekal Adesha Alaha Bhoti. I'll say Alaha. Antyasya Radhe Alaha Bhoti. For Al. Then Anekal. Anekal Adesha. It will apply to what? Anekal Adesha Sarvasya Bhoti. Sarvasya Bhoti. So this is how. Now Shit Adesha also. Ekal. Ekal Shit Adesha also Sarvasya Bhoti. Now, what is the condition left when you have here Ekal Adesha for a single Al? Ekal Adesha Shit Sarvasya. Anekal Adesha, uh, Adesha Sarvasya. What if there is a condition where Anekal Adesha is there and more, more than one letter has to be a substitute to one letter. So Anekal Adesha and Al, if they are Stani, so Al say Anekal Adesha, Anekal Adesha is there, but I need it to apply to, as in Muni, the Panini Muni wants it to apply to Al. Alaha Bhavati, then what will he do? He wants this condition to be satisfied. This condition also should be uh, should be possible. So for that he wrote a sutra, Nitya. So Nitya Sutra says that if he makes the Adesha Nit, then Anekal Adesha if it is Nit, because Ekal Adesha, there is no point in making Nit for it to apply to single letter. Ekal Adesha anyway applies to Al, unless it is Shit. So Ekal Adesha which is not Shit will apply to any way, it will apply to a single letter. Now, if Anekal Adesha, by general rule, Anekal Adesha will apply to everything. But as an exception to this Anekal Adesha, Purva Pwada, Anekal Adesha, if it is Anekal, Anekal Nitta Adesha. Nitta Adesha will apply to a single letter. So all four conditions are Satisfied one to one, many to one, many to many, and one to many. All conditions are satisfied. So this is how you understand the sutras from the sutra patha by having puru apwada or an apwada which follows, and see what all conditions are satisfied. Because in lagu prakriya he may not cover all of the sutras. So the sutra we are looking at now is anekal shit sarvasya. Anekal Shit Sarvasya is the Sutra. We are looking at the examples. I am just covering, see, uh, examples, if I start giving examples in the Sutra part, I will be doing Ashtadhyay. So, I will be doing the Sutras from the Laghu. We will cover Laghu Sutras. And these are Paribhashika Sutras. Paribhashika Sutras are those Sutras which will apply to other Sutras. Now, if 
we look at all examples then i'll have to cover the ashtadhyayi sutras and other sutras from the ashtadhyayi as examples to to the those sutras that we're looking at so we'll look at all these sutras in time uh, we'll cover those sutras but in this lagu prakriya anekal shit sarvasya is covered why is it covered why is this sutra covered now so that we'll see if anekal shit sarvasya See, so far we have seen Adeshas, all Adeshas we have seen, they were what? They were Antyasya Alaha or Adehe Alaha Adesha. So we have already covered examples for which sutras? Alontyasya and Adehe Parasya we have seen. Now Anekal Shitsarvasya and Nitya we have to see. So those we will see when we find uh, those because uh, I don't want to go into these examples of these sutras right now. Get the idea. If the Adesha is Shit, you have to see whether the Adesha, every Adesha you have to see whether it is Ekal or Anekal, whether it is Shit or whether it is Nit. So these four conditions you have to look at. Four things you have to keep in mind to apply the Adesha. General rule says what? Uh, apply to the last letter or the first letter based on uh, what kind of whether it is Dik Panchami or Parasaptami based on that or Shashti, if, if there is a Shashti, then Stani is known. Which part of the Stani, the last letter or the first letter or the entire Stani? So far we have seen it applies to one letter, whether it is the uh, of the earlier word or the following word. But other possibilities do exist, wherein if the Adesha has multiple letters, then you have to be thinking, or if Adesha has a uh, has an eighth letter. Every eighth letter has a purpose. We have to keep that in mind. And here we know what is the purpose. If it is nit, then antyasya. If it is shit, then sarvasya. So th let's come back to the context now. In the context, the sutra we are looking at is what? This sutra here, earlier, what we have seen. Engaf padantad ati and then sarvatra vivasha goho. Now, Sarvatri Vasha Go, when Go Shabda is involved, then something else is happening here as Vibhasha. But this Vibhasha tells you that Go Agram and Go Gram are the forms. However, he says there are other possibilities also. There is, there is another, another possibility which I had mentioned in closing of the last class that there is one more, combi one more option possible. That he is covering. He is saying Anekal Shit Sarvasya. Anekal Shit Sarvasya is what? Anekal Shit Sarvasya. This is Padacheda. Just a second. I'm sorry. So Anekal Shit Sarvasya. Anekal and Shit. This is an Adesha. Both are in 1 1 and Sarvasya. He does not give any uh, further explanation to this. So we look at an example for this sutra after we finish what he is coming at. Anekal Shit Sarvasya. We have seen these are the four options. When you have Anekal Shit Sarvasya, this is the rule. As in Adesha is Anekal. And why does he say that? He will cover that. Just let me look up. <coughs> I'm sorry. See what he is going to cover now. Next sutra, he is going to. He's. I'll just mark this. Why is he bringing in the sutra Anekal Shit Sarvasya? There is a sutra which is going to follow. See six one one thirty three. Here we are look, looking at six one one twenty two. So. In the 61122, 61122, this is a sutra we were looking at, Sarvatra Vibhasha. The next sutra, 61123, is what? Avang Spota So his mind, Lagukara's mind, is what this Go has an Anurti till 124, till here, Indrecha, and Vibhasha also goes till 123. Now, 
गो शब्द वेन टू फॉर्म्स हैव बीन सीन एज विभाषा ही सेज एज विभाषा देर इज अ थर्ड फॉर्म ऑल्सो सो विभाषा एज एन अनुवृत्ति एंड अर्यर वी हैव सीन इन लोप शाकल्य से वी हैव सीन शाकल्य से मतेन मतेन लोप होती सो वेन शाकल्य से मुने इन दी इन दी व्यू ऑफ शाकल्य मुनि देर इज लोप एंड देर वी सो वॉट डज दैट मीन देर इज नो विभाषा देर एज इन द वर्ड विभाषा इज नॉट देर बट इट हैज टू बी कंसिडर्ड एज विभाषा बिकॉज वेन एवर अ पूर्व आचार्य नेम व्याकरण आचार्य नेम इज यूज दैट टाइम इट इन दी ओपिनियन ऑफ पांडिनी मुनि दैट दैट कैंड ऑफ अ पॉसिबिलिटी मे नॉट बी देर ही सेज दैट दिस आचार्य सेज लाइक शाकल्य आचार्य सेज दैट देर शुड बी लोप इन अ सर्टन कंडीशन ऑफ संधि मीनिंग वॉट पाणिनी मुनी डज नॉट एग्री डज नॉट एग्री टू दैट रूल सो बट एज अ रिस्पेक्ट ही सेज दैट अरियर आचार्य सेट देअर बाय वॉट पाणिनी मुनी सेज वॉट शुड हॅपन अँड वॉट शाकल्य मुनी सेज वॉट शुड हॅपन बोथ आर आर प्रमाणा फॉर अस अँड देअर बाय वील टेक बोथ ॲज ॲज विभाषा ॲज ऑप्शन्स सिमिलरली हिअर विभाषा वर्ड इट सेल्फ इज कमिंग इन हिअर but why does he say spota anasya so here uh, the uh, tikakara say that the word spota anasya even without using this we know that it is a vibhasha because vibhasha word is there in the earlier sutra it can be brought down and through anuruti we know there is a third form possible with avang adesha now spota anasya has been used as respect to the acharya who says that avang adesha is another vibhasha so spota anasya has been used for respect to show respect and in this context avang adesha is how many letters now adesha is not a single letter avang is akara vakara akara and nyakara there are four letters here so there are four alls and therefore it is anekal and then he says anekal shit sarvasya that's why he brings in this sutra to say अनेकाल शित सर्वस्य, अनेकाल व्हेन अनेकाल शित सर्वस्य इति प्राप्ते, व्हेन इति प्राप्ते अवंग स्पोटायन से वेन यू ट्राई टू एप्लाय अवंग स्पोटायन से दैट टाइम वेर शुड अवंग एप्लाय अवंग वुड एप्लाय टू सर्वस्य, इट विल रिप्लेस द एंटायर वर्ड देर बाय what will happen the in the derivation when you say what when you derive this go and go and agram what is that we are trying to derive if you recall from the last class this go go agram or gogram these two forms are for what for gavam agram so when you are trying to say gavam agram as a samasa and trying to form that samasa go plus a agra plus su su is a one one pratyaya is a prathama ekavachanam so go there will be supluk of this a and su will go and then we have go agra what is the sandhi between go and agra that time we saw two options are there go agra or gogram both forms are valid now if avang adesha is given avang adesha is given as per spota and muni then this avang is a multilateral adesha when a multilateral adesha so far we have seen guna adesha or puro parayo ek adesha whether vriddhi or something else or something else or, or uh, para adesha or puro rupa adesha all have been single letters but avang is an adesha which is multilateral and multilateral adesha how do you understand by a parivashika sutra anekal sit sarvasya so it should apply for sarvasya what will happen <coughs> it will sorry <coughs> sorry it will replace the entire shabda go shabda instead of applying to okara here what happened this uh, go plus agra so go plus agra what happened here 
विभाषा विभाषा हैपन इफ विभाषा डज नॉट टेक प्लेस देन गो प्लस अग्रम ओकारा एंड अकारा बोथ आर रिप्लेस बाय गुरु रूप ओकारा देर इज ओकारा सिंगल आदेश नाउ इफ अनेकाशित सर्वसे इज यूज इति प्राप्ते अवम विल बी द आदेश फॉर गो एंड एंटायर गो शब्द विल बी रिप्लेस देर बाय फर्स्ट ओकारा वाय ओकारा वॉज दिस्थानी बिकॉज अंत्य अलह अलोन्त्य बाय दैट ओकारा वॉज दिस्थानी नाउ बिकॉज दि आदेश इज मल्टी लेटर्ड अनेकाल देर फोर गो एंटायर गो शब्द शुड बी रिप्लेस इति प्राप्ते सो देर फोर इति प्राप्ते अनेकाल शित सर्वसे इति प्राप्ते एंड एग्जाम्पल फॉर अनेकाल शित सर्वसे वी डोंट हैव टू लुक सेपरेटली बिकॉज दिस इज द एग्जाम्पल अवंग स्कोटायन से इज द एग्जाम्पल फॉर विच वुड हैव बीन अनेकाल शित सर्वसे इट वुड हैव बीन नाउ ही से निच्च इज इंट्रोड्यूस्ड निच्च इज इंट्रोड्यूस्ड टू से दैट do not replace the entire stani wait i have added this nyakara as an it letter here so avang adesha nyakara is it because it is an upadesha and in upadeshe janunasika is but what halantyam halantyam api it so halantyam nyakara is it therefore it avang is what kind of an adesha it is a nitta adesha and nitta adesha it is since since it is a nitta adesha nitcha so anekal shit sarvaseti prapte अनुवृत्ति फॉर निच्च Look at the anuvrutti for nitya. So we already gone ahead. So nitya anuvrutti is what alaha alone the entire sutra alone the sya and thereby what this alaha antya sya alaha adesha bhavati. So if the adesha is nit, then it will apply only to the antya al. What is he saying? नित अनेकाल अपी अंत्यस्य एवस्या हाउ डिड यू गेट दिस अंत्यस्य अंत्यस्य कम्स फ्रॉम द सूत्र अलोन्त्यस्य सो अंत्यस्य एव अलह स्यात इट विल अप्लाई ओनली टू द लास्ट नित अनेकाल अपी व्हाई अनेकाल अपी बिकॉज अनेकाल शित सर्वस्य इति प्राप्ते सो अनेकाल अपी नित यदि नित भवति आदेश अंत्यस्य एव भवति इज दैट क्लियर षष्ठीस्थान योग वाई षष्टी इज नॉट देर वेरी षष्टी वेर डी सी षष्टी द वर्ल्ड षष्टी वर्ड इज नॉट देर I said shasti as in alaha is shasti vibhakti, not the shasti word. Antyasya shasti ekvachana alaha alontyasya sutra is coming down. So look at the sutra part. <coughs> Sorry. See alontyasya. षष्टी स्थान योग सी फिफ्टी फाइव इट्स कमिंग डाउन आई लास्ट टाइम आई सेट इवन समथिंग कम्स डाउन नीड नॉट बी यूज डू यू सी दैट इन दी वृत्ति इन दी व्याख्या इट इज नॉट देर इन दी लघु लघु वृत्ति इट इज नॉट देर वॉट इज दूज ऑफ षष्टी नाउ षष्टी इज एक वचन बट इट गोज टू फिफ्टी फाइव इवन इफ इट गोज वॉट इज दूज ऑफ दैट षष्टी सो इन फैक्ट आई डोंट नो Uh, whether there is any use of shasti coming down i have not seen it used so it's mark here let me look up in my uh, sutra patha print look up us to 1149 i don't know where it is used maybe elsewhere it may be used shasti sthane so sthane also goes okay 
सृष्टिस्थाने अलहा Uh, I don't see its use anywhere. At least in the vritti, it is not used. So, since you asked that as a question, um, I thought that you were asking whether it goes down. Let me look up in a, some other vritti if it is used. Sorry, just a second. So it's not there in Nietzsche. Anekal Shitsarvasya Shashti, not there. Nietzsche. Ade Parasya Shashti not used. So let me see in Vritti Shashti Okay. Okay. Uh, it is used to say only that Shashti Nirdishtasya. So, uh, see, I, I was taking it as even without, even without this being there. So, uh, it is not uh, used as in by the Vyakhya it is not used because even without the Shashti, see, okay, let's uh, go back and uh, see what is a Sthani? What is a Sthani? What is a Sthani? Sthani is either indicated in Shashti Vibhakti, Shashti Vibhakti, what is there in Shashti Vibhakti? Else what? What is there? What follows? What follows? <coughs> I think we have covered this earlier. What is there in? What is after a panchami? So, if there is a panchami, so if, what is there in shasti vibhakti? That is istani. Okay, shasti vibhakti, shasti or let's say shastya. I'll say shastya. Shastya Nirdishta. So Nirdishta is a Sthani. Then if you have Panchami, after the Panchami, so Panchami Vibhakti Vibhakti Ehe Paraha. That is the sthani. What follows the panchayi vibhakti? Or what saptami vibhakti? Actually, not vibhakti. Uh, this is panchayi okay, vibhakti. And otherwise, what vibhaktau? Vibhak, vibhakti he purvaha. Purvaha sthani. So these are the three ways to know the sthani. Either the sthani is given directly by the sutra in the shashti vibhakti or panche vibhakti, whatever is given. So like ad gunaha, ad, after the akara, after the avarna, just a second. A lot of cough today, sorry. Okay, uh, I'll try to uh, uh, speak a little in a low volume. I hope I'm audible so that I can reduce my cough. Okay, so yeah, parasya bodhya or purvasya. Now, see if the shashti is given directly, you don't have to look for the stani. If shashti is not there, then if only panchami is there. Stani is that which follows. 
if only saptami is there then what is preceding the saptami as in the uh, whatever is indicated in the saptami it is prior to that that is sthani if shashti is not there and panchami and saptami both are there then what panchami baliyan then panchami baliyan okay panchami vibhakti is <coughs> baliyan or panchami nirdishta baliyan rather panchami nirdishta baliyan so why panchami will say that the sthani is that which follows saptami will say that the sthani is that which precedes if both are same then no problem if if there is a sandhi between that which is showing the panchami and that which is showing the saptami then which should be the sthani it cannot be so uh, saptami is showing the uh, letter which is indicated in saptami uh, uh, which is uh, shown in saptami and saptami is showing the, the sthani as that which is in panchami in that case which should you take so there panchami nirdishta baliyan there is a paribhasha which says that panchami if saptami and panchami are contradicting then you take the whatever is shown by the panchami thereby the saptami the letter in the saptami would become uh, the sthani <coughs> so anyway these are the uh, basic rules now with the shashti anuvritti so far we are saying that only if panchami and saptami are there we are taking this for granted but uh, with this anuvritti that we see here shashti shashti sthane yoga the shashti and sthane both have anuvritti sthane stops here urandra para and sthane antartamah but shashti goes till here to say what shashti nirdishta alontyasya kasya antyasya shashti nirdishtasya antas antyasya so to which letter but if shashti is not there then then also it will work it will work by panchami or saptami and i have taking that as granted but he takes shashti all the way to say shashti nirdishtasya antyasya alaha adesha bhavati shashti nirdishtasya antyasya alaha alaha adesha bhavati anekal anekal api yadi adesha nit bhavati tada so nitya will also say what nitya antyasya alaha kasya shashti nirdishtasya antyasya alaha adesha bhavati anekal nit and adeh parasya also says shashti nirdishtasya parasya adeh parasya bhavati adesha and similarly it goes till 55 to say what anekal shit sarvasya kasya shashti nirdishtasya sarvasya adesha bhavati that is the meaning okay <coughs> I'm sorry. So please excuse my cough. Suddenly some dry cough has started. I'm sorry about it. So coming back to the example uh, in anekal shiksaro seti prapte nitya patyate nitya means what? Nid anekal api antya seva what antya seva shasti nirdishta se sa. So we'll add that also shasti. shashti here also comes as an anuvritti and then we'll say shashti antyasya shashti but the shashti will undergo a vibhakti parinam because shashti if shashti nit is not the meaning so shashti will change to shashti 11 1 is equal to what it will become 6 1 in the 6 1 by nirdishtasya you have to say shashti nirdishtasya that's why you carry shashti as it is it will be confusing so you have to shashti nirdishtasya nirdishtasya antyasya alaha syat you will have to take a vibhakti parinam so thereby what happens now avang will be the adesha for what avang is the adesha sphotane sphotayanasya and what is the anuvritti here vibhasha goho so vibhasha and goho is 
षष्टि एक वचन सो अवम आदेश फॉर एंड स्पोटायन एंड गोहर नॉट एन सामानी करण ऑब्विस्ली ऑल दो दिवक्ति सेम दिस षष्टि एंड दिस स्पोटायन सेयर सी हियर यू सी सर्वत्र विभाषा गोह एक्चुअली गोह वॉज विच विभक्ति हियर गोवा षष्टि प्रकृति एंग आदि पदांता सो दे बाय पदांता हैड टेकन एंग एंग वॉज पंचमी बट हेज टेकन षष्टि विभक्ति परिणाम एंड इट वेट इन सामनाधिकरण विद गो हो एंड देन वी सेट वॉट एंग अंत दिस एंग एंग अंत गो हो फॉर दि गो विच इज एंग अंत देर बाय वी मेड वॉट दिस षष्टि एंड दिस षष्टि वी पुटेड इन सामनाधिकरण्यम एंड देन वी Applied a tadanta vidhi by the sutra yena vidhi tadanta sya and then we got this eng anta sya instead of eng aha eng aha became eng anta sya by tadanta vidhi here though obviously but if there is a confusion that spotayana sya go ho is not a samana di karanyam spotayana sya is a sammandha shishti so it says spotayana sya matena as per spotayana it is not इन सामनाधिकरण गो आई एम जस्ट सेइंग दैट जस्ट बिकॉज सी सामनाधिकरण जनरली इन व्याकरण और इन जनरल संस्कृत पीपल्स अंडरस्टैंडिंग इज व्हाट पीपल थिंक दैट सामनाधिकरण मींस दैट विच हैज सेम विभक्ति एंड नंबर मे और मे नॉट बी सेम बट सेम विभक्ति दैट इज नॉट ट्रू सामनाधिकरण सामान अधिकरण सामान अधिकरण दैट अधिकरण शुड बी सेम लोक शुड बी सेम स्पोटायन एंड गो आर नॉट सेम स्पोटायन इज अ मुनि व्याकरण मुनि एंड गो इज अज अ गौ सो कौ एंड स्पोटायन ऑल दो दे आर हैविंग द सेम विभक्ति दे कैन हैव डिफरेंट लोकस एंड देर फोर दे आर नॉट इन सामान अधिकरण डेफिनेशन ऑफ सामान अधिकरण इज नॉट सेम विभक्ति ओनली आई फर्गेट द डेफिनेशन राइट नाउ बट दो विच हैव सेम अधिकरण इज द आइडिया देर भिन्न सामान प्रवृत्ति लक्षण समथिंग इज देर आई डोंट आई कैंट रिकॉल ऑफ एंड बट जस्ट इन दिस कॉन्टेक्स्ट आई एम मेकिंग दैट क्लियर दैट सेम विभक्ति एंड नंबर डू नॉट मीन सेम अधिकरण देर फोर सामान अधिकरण इज नॉट दि सेम विभक्ति एंड नंबर नाउ वॉट डज इज अवंग नाउ बीइंग अग्नित आदेश इट विल अप्लाय टू वॉट इट विल अप्लाय टू अंत्य सेवती सो पदांते नाउ इज पदांते एंग अंत गो हो अवंग वाची इज व्हाट हैपन्स अवंग अवंग इज द आदेश विच इज रेड फॉर एंग अंत पदांत एंग अंत पदांत फॉर व्हाट एंग अंत गो इज ऑलरेडी कमिंग फ्रॉम दी सूत्र विच इज ऑलरेडी अप्लाइड वी वी हैव मेड दिस गो हो एंड एंग एंग हैज टेकन विभक्ति परिणाम एंड हैज बिकम From eng of padanta dati, this panchami has come down eng ha, and that has taken vibhakti parinama and has already become shasti in the earlier sutra we saw. Now that has gone with go ho in shasti and taken a tadanta vidhi eng antasya go ho that was already there in the earlier sutra. Then he says padante was also there. Padante Kim he had given an example with uh, bahuri with a uh, chit chitragu chitragu example. And then he said, "Padanta is important there." Now, Eng for Eng he had given Chitragu, and for Padanta he is uh, he has given some other example only at the end of the Pada. So we take another example here, Padante. Why Padante? That he'll explain later. But he, now he says, "Eng antar se go ho avang vachi." Thereby, what will you get now? You will get earlier here got go agram and go gram. Two two forms here got. Now he says, additional form is this. Additional form is what you are say, gavam agram. <coughs> I'm sorry, gavam agram and gavam agram. He says what? Go. You will get go finally. Go and agra. Now this go will take adesha of avam. Where will that apply? Not to the entire world. Anekal shit sarvasya apwada is only okara will become stani and 
So it will take what? Adesha. It will take Avanga Adesha. This will take Avanga Adesha. Padantasya Engantasya Goho. This is Eng and it is at the Ant of the Pada. Therefore, this becomes a Stani. And what will it take? The Adesha will be Ava. Ava. Ava Adesha. And thereby this Ava Adesha. Ava. Yakara is, is it. What sutra is this by? Avang Sphota and Asya, which is what we are looking at. Current sutra. Avang Sphota and Asya. And also by Nichya. Both sutras will give this Nichya. Antyasya Alaha Adesha Bhavati. So we will get what? Gav. Gava and then Savarna Dirga Sandhi. Between Akara and Akara you will get Savarna Dirga and you will get A Gavagram. I'm sorry. Gavagra and then you decline it and you will get Gavagram. That is the example. Other form we already seen. Since it is a Vibhasha, if there is no Vibhasha, you will get go, Gogram or also another which is Go Agram, which we saw in the earlier sutra. Padante Kim. Padante Kim means what? Why did he say Padante? What would happen if the Padante had not been said in the Vritti here? Padante Engantase Goho Avangvachi. This Padante, if had it not been said, what would happen? What would happen? That he, for that he is given the Example, without Padanta, it would apply to Gavi also. And what is Gavi an example of? It is a Saptami. This is a Saptami Ekvachana. Ek so you need a Go Shabda, which will decline in Saptami. Saptami Pratya is Ni. So just Amout Shasta Abhyambi Sityadi and then Ni Os Sup. So Ni Os Sup, Ni is the Pratya. Ni is Nit Pratya. So uh, Nit Pratya then it is Ni Nyakara is it rather. Nyakara is it and thereby it will drop off. By Kakagaga Nya. It is the last letter of Kavarga. Lashaku Atadite. Lashaku Atadite. And then by Lashaku Atadite Nyakara will go. It will be what? It will be E. E is the content. So this is by which sutra? This is by Suaujas. Suaujas. Aujas ityadi. Till last. Ni. Os. Sup. These are the. This is sutra. I think 412 four, or something. So go plus E. Now go plus E. What is it saying? Earlier, see Sarvatra Vibhasha Goho, Ati is, Ati or Achi is already there. So he says what? Now here also it will apply. Here, in this, in this Sutra, in the Avang Sputa Anasya, if Padanta is not an Anuvritti there, then what will happen is that, in this condition also it will apply. And then you will get Avangadesha. What would the form be? You will get Gava here. And then uh, Go will become Gava. You will, uh, what will you get here? Go. Padante. <coughs> um, sorry, just a second. I am a little confused now. Gavi. Yeah, so uh, Ga and we saw Ava. So what will happen? Gava. You will get Gava. I am just saying, what is, this is wrong. Okay, I will mark it. This is wrong. So what will get Gava and Gava plus E. What will Gava plus E be? This is the form you would get. Gava plus E. 
Akara and Ikara Sandhi will happen, you will get Gave. There will be Guna Sandhi. But that is not the form. You get Gavi in Saptami, not Gave. Why? Because this Go is not Padanta. Not like Samasa. It is not Samasa. Here Go plus E, Go is a Pratipadika. It is not a Padanta. It is a Pratipadikanta. Okara here is Pratipadikanta. Therefore, you will get what? Okara and Ikara Sandhi. Okara Ikara Sandhi is what now? Okara Ikara Sandhi is what? What Sandhi will you get? Anyone? Okara Ikara Sandhi, what would it be? H O Yavayavaha. O is what? H. Vakara. If you get Vakara, what will be the form B? Vakara by Iko Energy. You are saying Iko Energy. Do you have Ik here? No. H O Yavayavaha. So by H O Yavayavaha, what will you get? A. A. H is what? A O I O. A O. What will you get? A O. So you will get O. So Gakara. Gakara. Here you will get O. O Adesha. And O is for the earlier only. So O Adesha E will remain. So you get H O Yava Yava. H O Yava Yava. And then the form will be what? Gavi. Which is Saptami Ekochana. So this is the reason Padanta has been said. <coughs> okay. Padanta. Next Sutra says Indrecha. Indrecha. What happens Indrecha? Indrecha. Sorry. Indrecha, when Indra letter follows, para saptami, saptami ekvachana, Indre. Indre is, Indra is the word. What happens? Go ho avam syad Indre. Indre pare, Indre is Indre pare. Go ho for go ho. For go, Adesha is what? Indre pare, go ho avam Adesha syad. Avam is the anurutti here. Avam Syad. Avang is Tyadesha 1-1. One, one. Here you see this uh, Shashti, sorry, uh, Shashto Adhyaya. Is it there? So Indrecha, next sutra says Indrecha. So Avang Adesha continues as an Anurti till 124. We next sutra Indrecha. Indrecha Goho Avang Syad. So what will you get here? The form is example given is Gavendra. Go. So Gavam Gavam Indra. So Gavam Indra is what? Uh, Lord of the cows or um, a bull among cows. So a bull is also he says that uh, uh, among all the cows if you see one bull then it's called as Gavendra. So here you see Gavendra, Gavamindra, Go Shabda, and Indra. So Go plus Aam, Shashti Ekvachana, plus Indra, plus Su, Su Pratya, 1 1. You get Go, Indra, and in the, if you didn't have it, if you didn't have it, then some other Sandhi would happen. H O A Y A. So you would get Gavindra. But it's not Gavindra. What is the form here? The form is Gavindra. So it says Go, Gakara and Okara, Indra, Indre Pare. 
this entire word indra and okara will have sandhi and thereby go sorry ga, gakara of indra still remains and you get what av is the avang is the adesha gau gava and e ikara again av just a second kavindra av avang adesha av so av gavendra gavendra <coughs> right guna sandhi so this is by ad guna guna by ad guna you will get gavendra gavendra and then decline it you will get gavendra ramavat <coughs> okay now next sutra i'll just uh, cover this sutra and then we'll close so that we get into this next one duradhute cha duradhute cha sutra is durat sorry durat दूराधूते, so it is दूराधूते, दूराधूते becomes दूराधूते, this becomes धकारा, this takes धकारा आदेशा, धकारा takes धकारा आदेशा, and तकारा है becomes धकारा, so दूराधूते जो, दूराधूते, so what is the सूत्रा saying? इंद्रे चर्चन दूराधूते च चकारा इस अव्यया हूते सप्तमी एक वचन दूरात इस पंचमी एक वचन दूरात मीनिंग फ्रॉम अ ग्रेट डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम अ डिस्टेंस वी कैन टॉक द वे वी यू नो यू कैन विस्पर और यू कैन जस्ट टॉक इन नॉर्मल वॉइस दूराधूते यू कॉल हूते एक्चुअली वे वे धातु इस देर वे धातु विच सेज वे धातु मीनिंग इस व्हाट स्पर्धायाम शब्दे जो सो टेक शब्दे अर्थ है दर शब्दे जो एंड शब्दे देर मींस टू कॉल आउट टू एड्रेस संबोधन अर्थ है सो संबोधन अर्थ है हुते व्हेन व्हेन दे व्हेन संबोधन इस यूज टू कॉल आउट समवन हु इस कॉल आउट समवन फ्रॉम अ from a good distance, from a dura, from a distance, when you call out someone, that time what happens? Uh, here it is, he is giving this as in his Sandhi Prakarana because he is going to talk about something called as uh, Pragriya. Actually, he is going to talk about Pluta Sandhi. Pluta as the Adesha. So, Pluta is what? Trimatrika. And to say Pluta, Pluta is the Adesha as an exception to something, instead of say, uh, say Dhirga, Savarana Dhirga, Sandhi should not happen. And what has the uh, part of the Prakriya, in the part of the Sandhi Prakarana which has started? If you look at it, uh, earlier we saw uh, in the Sarvatra Vibhasha Go. Here we saw the word Prakrutya. So Prakrutya, Prakrutya is uh, Tritya Ekochana. So Prakrutya, Prakriti Bhava. We saw Prakriti Bhava. This word is important. Prakriti Bhava had explained that in its very nature, whatever is its Swarupa, it will remain in that. Means what? It will not take Sandhi. And thereby, we saw Prakriti Bhava, if it takes, then Go Agra will, Okara and Akara will not have a Sandhi. That is the Prakriti Bhava. It remains as it is. And Prakriti Bhava is the context of the Ad Sandhi now, which he continues. In the Prakriti Bhava, what else is will take Prakriti Bhava? He says, Duradhutecha, there is a Prakriti Bhava, and in Prakriti Bhava, something will take Pluta, something will not take, all this he, he is considering that part now, and therefore he says, Duradhutecha, when somebody is called from a de, distance, then what happens? Pluto Bhavati, Pluta is the Adesha, Va Vibhasha, Pluta Vibhasha, we will see more of this in the next Sutra, but what does, what does it say? Durat Sambodhane, Durat, Durat Hute, for Hute is a Sambodhane. When Sambodhana is used, 
सो संबोधने सती हूते सती दिस सप्तमी इज व्हाट हूते सती दूराद हूते सती प्रतः वा भवति कस्य भवति ते हे ते हे इज व्हाट षष्टी एक वचन ऑफ टी एंड टी वी हैड सीन लास्ट टाइम एज टी इज दी दैट पार्ट ऑफ दी वर्ड स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम दी लास्ट वॉवेल so starting from the last vowel whatever is there till the end of the word that is called t and for the t te he prutah va bhavati vibhasha vibhasha vibhashaya bhavati optionally it will take pruta adesha the t will take pruta adesha when when calling from a du, distance dura sambodhane sambodhane vakyasya <coughs> vakyasya we'll see examples in the uh, next patha but Uh, here look at the example here agachya krishna so agachya krishna krishna is the akaranta pullinga shabda but how do you call a person krishna you allow it as krishna it is trimatrika it is pruta so when sambodhane when you call out durat from a distance that time vakyasya tehe whatever is the word actually vakya here in the vakya what is it te sambodhana संबोधन से संबोधन प्रातिपदिका दैट सॉरी पदा दैट विल टेक प्लुत ऑप्शन इट विल टेक प्लुत दैट विल सी फर्दर इन दी नेक्स्ट पार्ट आई विल स्टॉप हियर वसाने नटराज राजो नाधक्का न पंचवार उद्धर तो काम सन का सिद्धानेतर्शे शिव सूत्र एनी क्वेश्चन या सडनली समथिंग स्टार्टेड हियर